Welcome back to another episode of XCOM with J Dog. What's poppin'? What's poppin'? Alien Aloys? Nah, nah, dog. You know we doing? We doing something? Let me tell you what we doing. We are making contact with West Africa. Is this something about um something about something? You know what I'm saying? Africa. The rainforest in Africa. Hazmat vest. By reinforcing the Nesca Vest special materials, so just gain an additional health boost and are completely resistant to any environment hazards like fire, acid, or poison. So good. So good. I'm glad I have this hazmat vest. How many? We got one core left. Grenade, ammunition type, heavy weapon, the rage suit. I don't know if I care about this rage suit. Give me a new ammo type. Yee. Psionic training completed. New ability insanity. Continue training. Depending on who you ask, psionics could be considered the alien's greatest strength. Now our own psy operative can tap into that. Look at his helmet. Power. That's why he's a psy guy, bro. Psionic Shaming Zhao trained. Soul fire, schism, or fuse. If an enemy is carrying explosive, can be remotely detonated. Does guaranteed sign damage when again again ignores cover and armor. Insanity now does a small amount of guaranteed damage and applies rupture to the target. Rupture is enemies take more damage. Take fuse. Fuse is nice. So do you not You don't get XP to level up. You just train. You have AP though, so you can just learn new abilities. Is that is that correct? What's your loadout? You got the magnetic bolt caster. Basic Siamp. Ah, we'll figure you out later. That's interesting. If I go to the... I don't know, man. I don't know. Well, because of the way the Psy Soldier works, I don't think I will be making them specialized. We'll just accept the fact that it's, it's a guy. I have a question, though. I keep forgetting and remembering the question that I have. It's come and gone like three times. I can't get it. I can't get it stuck in my brain. Yeah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. They got an extra avatar project completed. What? Bruh. They don't stand a chance. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, recover some loot, recruit some engineers, fabricate a PCS, gather some intel. Why don't you go ahead and hunt this guy? Plus one mobility for J Dog. And then he can go with, I was going to say Bargate, but Bargate's tired. He can go with, um, Stang. Stang, 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 Stang. Where's Stang at? Stang, uh, Mustang? Demon Mustang is wounded. You can go with, uh, Sesusumisu. There's a capture chance. I don't like capture chance. Send this guy. Understood, Commander. My followers will appreciate the support of your soldiers. -na 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 -na. Made a oh wow! Having encountered a number of alien capable of wielding psionic power, it should come. It should come as no surprise that their aptitude for and abilities are often unique to a given species. In this case, a subject can force which are the gatekeepers and not extremely is on the extreme end of the spectrum in terms of psionic sensitivity. However, efforts to analyze the subject have far revealed little terms in terms of the actual put purpose of intention in the field, unlike the codex so far. I don't fucking know, man. Alien Psyamp. We went from um, the first Psy soldier having the final level of Psy gear. Illyrium. It's <laughs> insane. Dragon Rounds. Kept with a highly combustible mini charge, Dragon Rounds do bonus damage to all targets and can even set some alight. Bonus damage on hit. We're all out of Illyrium cores now. The View the facility. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Okay, we gotta worry about the Avatar project now. You know what I'm saying? We're reading you. We did it. Radio set up. So now this is gonna cost me 30 intel. It's gonna cost me what? We've reached max capacity. Hold on. I can manage this. 
you go to the resistance comms and you hit upgrade and then you hit oh you'd have an insufficient power you go to the power relay and you go engineer uh resistance ring the infirmary the scilab and the proving grounds cynthia pierce get over here and then you go to the resistance comms and then you go upgrade and then you go all oh, high that's crazy Who are looking at power, bro? Hell if I know. Let's go. Achievement unlocked. Fully operational business. Oh, we gotta see what this achievement is. Raise XCOM's influence with all three factions to high in a single game. I guess I did, didn't I? Uh, blah 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 blah. My followers grow increasingly reverent of your abilities, Commander. We continue to progress in our campaign against Let's just send it, dude. Now, this is gonna be Joe. And this is gonna be um Volt. Emma Jones. We will begin the covert action immediately, Commander. We're all set. Keep making contact. Hey, free cash. Reveals concealed units. Don't even matter, bro. 20 intel to see. I can't do it. Resistance comes. Hmm. Plus one shred. Get rid of that. It's kind of ineffective now. This goes over there. Plus one resistance comms. Because we're going to need that. We're going to keep that. And then we get plus one of these. Resource missions. Additional power. Lightly wounded soldiers. And extra resource. Everything else is kind of just bad. Automatically acquired. Avatar project has gone up. Oh no. Need to move fast. Fuse. Continue training. Soul fire, inspire, and schism. Small amount of damage. Grant a bonus action immediately to a nearby squad mate. Does guarantee sign to an organic enemy. Grab inspire. Oh, these guys don't need to use ability points to upgrade them all the way. That's what I was going to check. They can just learn everything right off the bat. Um, no. Soldier bonds? Soldier abilities. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. They just get everything automatically. And I thought their psi power was linked to their will. I think that's how it worked in the first game. Maybe not in this one. That's why I was upgrading Seth's will so much. Will had a direct impact on, like, other things. But he is gifted. And he has combat ability points. So I think I was curious to see what that's like. Training center. Train abilities. Not possible. He has ability points. I mean, I think I was justified. I have a thousand supplies. That's insane. Illyrium. Having completed our analysis of the, sub of the sub substance tentatively referred to as Illyrium 115. Illyrium 115. Is that a reference? Codename Mjolnir? What the hell? Is that a reference to um, zombies, black ops? It's clear that this material is unlike any other naturally occurring element on Earth. Presumably the aliens extracted their undoubtedly extensive stores of Illyrium from another planet. But that is beyond my capacity to surmise. What I do know that was cert with certainty is that this element is incredibly reactive when exposed to high-energy particle fields, providing a source of nearly limitless power that defies all known efficiency standards. Unfortunately, I see no means of replicating or synthesizing the substance with the resources available to us on Earth. The materials we recover from the aliens themselves will likely constitute the entirety of our available stockpile the commander will have to be careful in choosing how to allocate these pressure resources plus rifle powered armor illyrium conduit greatly increases power relays output super armor yeah 12 days do it the next armor upgrade is we need the armor armor's armor's cracked 
contact made. Badoom, badoom. We have to make another relay. In Africa. We can make it in South Africa. I don't know if that does anything, though. Whoa. I gotta use the bathroom. I just... I gotta... I'll be back. I gotta use the bathroom. And I'm back. Hello, I'm back. I'm back. What's up? I don't know what's happening, man. So, uh, yeah, yeah. You know how, like, when you fart and you let it out slowly to make it silent? And then it burns a little bit, and that ain't a fart. That's what happened to me, okay? I was, it was, I thought it was a fart. I was going to let it out slowly, ease it, and then and then it burned a lot. And I was like, that's not a fart. That's liquid. That's liquid. And then, uh, and here we are. Yeah, whatever, bro. Didn't I already crystal corpses? You can have, like, a couple, man. Whack. I'm loaded in dough. 60 intel. Oh. We can make a relay here. Do it. We got the supplies. Trust me. We got the supplies. But yeah, so I'm all set. You know, okay, so today's the day after Christmas. Yesterday was Christmas. You ever got those family? that, that Like, they can cook food like it tastes fine at all. But when they cook food, it tastes disgusting. Disgusting. Or no, sorry, 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 sorry. It doesn't taste disgusting, but they cook food and it's just it's not good for your stomach. Cause yeah, yesterday was Christmas, so I went to go eat some dinner at family's house and man, they don't know how to cook food. Like it tastes fine. But it's my stomach is is suffering. My stomach is suffering greatly. A lot. There's your squad. Easy. Move David. Dead cores. Yup, yup. Yup, yup. I yup. Yup, 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 yup. Go. That's what's nice about having your squad lined up. Ain't gotta do nothing. Ain't gotta do nothing. Automatic. Automatic. Dude, my stomach is still bothering me. Am I okay? So I talked about I drink I drink soda in the morning. It's still morning. I've been recording for like two hours. I drink soda in the morning because it's good. It's good. It's good energy. It's good energy to start your day. Uh, side effects: your stomach might burn a lot because carbonated in your stomach is not good, and then uh, you might get a headache in the morning because it's not hydrating you. Of course, I also got some water with me. Let me drink some water. Maybe this will help me. Mm. That's good. I drink tap water. Water off the tap. Because it's like, okay. Would you would you rather drink water that's been cooked in a water bottle? Or would you rather drink water that came out of the tap? Those are my options. I mean, I could boil the water. This is true. I could boil water. But... Boiling the water is not gonna take the damn copper out of it. We get a, every month, or every couple months, my house gets a little thing from the water treatment plant, and it tells us what's in the water. And there is a large amount of copper in the water because we have copper pipes, and it's gonna dilute in there. You know, there's also some like jet fuel and stuff, and some things that are very questionable that's in the water. And I, I looked it up. And I was like, what kind of effect does this have on the body and, and, and use? And they go, in short-term use, it doesn't have a strong effect on the body. It has not been tested for long-term effect. And I go, what? Nothing has an effect short-term. If I ate poison, I wouldn't be sick the moment I ate the shit. You know? <laughs> Ridiculous, man. That's some stupid stuff. Go, go, go. Maybe it's just me. Dashing. He's so dashing. There's already, you know they're going to be faceless in that crowd. What are you looking at? Oh, we found him. It'd be cool if the robot had Overwatch ever vigilant. Be like, on dash, you get a free Overwatch shot. Oh, I triggered him. 
Wasn't I concealed? Only J Dog's concealed. Well, this is whack. Last movement, you trigger. And now the Overwatch has happened. That's so frustrating. They just get free shots. Miss for one damage. What the hell? 14 damage. It'd be nice if that didn't happen to me. He's immune. Ah, oh, pistol shot. Best lightning reflex I ever saw. He avoided no damage. He'd take 8 to Cameron. Beautiful. He's gonna go shadow bend somebody. Bargate, no. I need Bargate to shoot that mech once we drop his uh, his his life. Kill the mech, he becomes kill the Andromeda, he becomes a mech, and then we Bargate's gotta shoot the mech. Kind of, he just took cover on the robot. I'm rolling. That's hilarious. Did they see me? They did find me, okay. Spotted flanked enemy, says the Viper. Andromeda is on the roof. What the hell? Stupid human. Oh, he survived. They, he, she, they. Why would you shoot at the shadow bended enemy? What are you guys doing? How'd you even hit that shot? Why don't you kill a viper? He's literally taking cover on my guy. Like, bruh. What the hell? He's like, this is a great position. <laughs> Fucking stupid. Uh, what's happening? What are we doing? Uh, can I raid somebody? Pull yourself to an enemy. J Dog goes slash the hell out of this Viper. J Dog could slash anybody. J Dog kills people. Go slash the Spectre. Sing! Whoa, he's, he's back up, man! Easy, okay. You're gonna save your Implaceable for the time being. I need you to shoot a regular grenade all the way up. There you go. Right there. That should work. He's got salvo, so I don't have to worry about moving him first. Took two fall damage. But the snake, though. It's a snake. What do I care about some stupid snake? It's not a robot yet. You don't want to take your shot. This guy would love to shoot, though. Honestly, I'm least concerned about this Viper. Gas bomb, smoke bomb. You get a shot. They get a shot. He gets a shot. Blah, 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 blah. What's happening? J-Dog has a move. Bargate has a shot on this guy, but we want to drop him first. <sighs> you got to take a shot on him. That has to hit. Thank you. Two shred. It's not three shred anymore because I, I tossed the shred thing for more contacts. That makes me a little sad. I like the shred thing. Cameron does not have a shot. He can launch a gas bomb, which will still have the effects of the bomb. And I don't think I'm going over there anytime soon. I got two gas bomb. It's fine. It feels kind of strange using a bomb for this. A grenade just for one enemy that's not even behind good cover. But it takes him down. Bargate has to save his shot. Does he? Oh, shit, Chris. I need, like, one more damage, bro. Just one more. Wait, Chris got two turns? Gremlin combat protocol. I'm going all in on this Andromeda, bro. We got this, though. Look, this does damage. Then Chris is going to shoot him. And then he's going to go into robot mode. Then Bargate's going to dead shot the robot. And he's done.
Chris. 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 You had two moves. <sighs> the game just played me. The game just played me so hard. Just take a regular shot behind you. The, the combat protocol shouldn't have ended this turn. Yeah, fucking missed the 93. You know what? I don't even care. I don't even care. I don't even care. Hey, J Dog. Are you gonna go kaboom? You're gonna shoot a random? I'm gonna shoot a civilian. Oh no! That's three supplies a month! Three. What do you think I give a damn? Shoot J Dog. Oh, but he's untouchable. Blade stormed! Destroyed! <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Tell me that shit wasn't beautiful. Just tell me it wasn't. What are you doing? J Dog's just gonna go melee this guy. Drop him. Be like, easy. You don't have a line of sight on that guy. No, you gotta wait, Bargate. Chris, you, you shame. You bring shame upon your name. Channeling field because he got shot at. He did extra damage. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Bam! Blue screen protocol rounds. <laughs> I knew it was going to happen, man. We don't got line of sight of this guy, so we're going to go stand here. Chidog say, slice and dice. Sing! Blade Master. Oh, he gets the loot, too. Illyrium Core? Illyrium Core? Illyrium Core, right? Right, 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 right. Hit me with it. Yeah. I love me Delirium Core. It's so good. The resistance team is in the clear. They're moving to help the other survivors. There's a large group of civilians pinned down within range of your position. Sensors indicate hostile forces are closing in fast. Where's the faceless? jado has got this crazy cool shotgun he doesn't use. I don't know why. It's just the way it is. You could do this for a free action and just kill him. But you know what? You could also slash him for 8 damage. You could just shoot him for, like, no damage. He doesn't explode or anything, and as long as you don't touch the acid, you're set. Honestly, I'm good with that. We just gotta make sure somebody has the capability to go kill him. Anybody's got line of sight of this guy anywhere? That, no. I got it, bro. That's how you do it. easy I could shoot him or I could just melee him for more damage it does more damage it gives me untouchable it gives me irreplaceable in, in something something and then I move he no longer has his move you know what that's okay the game likes to do whatever the hell it wants Resistance activity. What's happening? I need a mission that has resistance, lost, and advent, and then me. So the turns take 20 friggin' years. That's what I need. These turns are too much, man. Look at this crap. I mean, they're killing chrysalids, which is respectable. But where's the faceless, though? Jerry Big, I am the ninja. Oh, did he find him? He did not find him. I really didn't think he was going to. We just sprint, man. Just sprint as far as you can, man. Be like free movement, son. No, I want you to move over on the gas station, but it's fine.
We did it. We did it. Giving a sniper an action point. Thinking. Berserker? I'm thinking about the way the bond mates work. Okay, so let's say J-Dog's in a bad position, and he doesn't really want to use one of his actions, okay? So, Bargay is a sniper. If he shoots once and uses all of his actions, and I give him a bond mate action, he can only use his pistol now. That's not really worthwhile. But, if he has death from above, this does not end his turn, then J-Dog can give him an extra action point, and he can take another sniper shot. I'm just thinking how it works. Dude, these these resistance guys are insane. I don't understand the crazy. I want you to grapple up more. Chorus, you got this? No, there's no way. Course, come here and grapple. Hit me with a grapple. What you got? No. Yeah. Sing them! <laughs> we saw those guys over there. Course, overwatch me. Berserker, two specters, eh? Target preview. No target preview. That's a good spot. Can I get you, like, up here? Camera and get down. Reload. Um, you can just move here. Yeah, yeah. Better spot. But Isak, it's Overwatch. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Is that a faceless? Oh no, it's a faceless. But wait, I get automatic Overwatch shots. Damn. Frederick Petit is disoriented. Triggered. They don't know J Dog's there, though. Chris is insane. What a shot. Well, I guess the faces ain't triggering the Overwatches. Oh, but that guy is. And then you got a pistol shot from the bar gate, maybe. I don't freaking know. <laughs> yeah, that ain't gonna do crap. Did it kill him? No, he's got one HP. Shame. That'll kill him. Even if it misses. Nice. Dropped. Now we got the specters. And they don't get an action because some reasons. I don't freaking know. Dun, 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 dun. We gotta wait. Now it's their turn. They're all just gonna shoot at people that I can't see. If you kill the chrysalid, then you guys will start shooting the faceless. Look. I gotta reload, man. Oh no, petite. No, he'll die next turn. I don't really care. He's not a civilian, is he? Does he count as a civilian? He's a resistance member. He might be a civilian. You kill the faceless? Just do it. You missed. That's a shame. That's a damn shame. Are you gonna save Petite? You missed. Petite's dead. Petite has died because of you. Dude, they don't even know. They don't even know. But, like, it's not... Melee is just better in every possible aspect, man. I don't care about the faceless. That's what I care about. That guy. Hit that 70, Bargate. Nice shot. Just shoot him, Chris. Good shot.
Cameron, you shoot him too. And then J Dog just goes. Reaper. Click, 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 slash? I was trying, man. Critical strike! Who's next? Be like Barga, give me an action, action, bro. I don't, I don't see any other enemies. <laughs> you can't find the enemy. Overdrive me, boy. <laughs> Here's how you do this. Right here's the spot. Go there. He's gonna go find somebody for me. This is how you use Reaper, along with a high mobility Ranger. J Dog's cracked. Don't forget, J Dog died a couple of times, but I'm J Dog. J Dog, are you within melee range? Are you within melee range of this? Oh yeah, move forward, move forward, yeah. I don't know if I want you to move that far forward. He's not within slash range, but he can grapple. Wonk! Now he's within the slash range. Done. <laughs> Mobility is the o is the most op. He doesn't have he doesn't he's targets. No, he doesn't have the movement. I'm sad. Wait, combat presence to J Dog. <laughs> he don't stop. <laughs> oh, he can't get the crystal. <laughs> he does have the damage. <laughs> oh Jesus! Hold on, hold on. We're all out of movements. Damn, it's fine. Go get him, J Dog. Crit him. He didn't get the kill. Blade Storm. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> Blade Storm. <laughs> Holy moly, dude! He is insane. How many kills did he get with the Reaper at the end? He killed two specters. The Faceless, the Berserker, and he killed the two Chrysalids because of Blade Storm. That's six kills. Individually. Dude, this is why the Ranger is my favorite class. That, that was just so damn good. I mean, like, okay, so each class has its cool things. If you got a bunch of enemies grouped and the Grenadier, he'll just fucking grenade, grenade. And that's satisfying. It does a lot of area damage. It's very satisfying. You got the snipers, and I mean, like, honestly, they are probably, the snipers and the specialists, specialists are huge, but, like, they're not crazy cracked. Like, aid protocol is really good, getting a free overwatch is nice, a little, little benefit. With the sniper, if you get a sniper with, um, what's, what's the area, what's the area overwatch, and your sniper guy has, like, eight bullets, six bullets, you know, in the rifle, he can just go with those overwatch shots. Kapoom, kapoom, kapoom. And if he's gifted or some shit and he's got like, oh, you have a chance to shoot again on overwatch. Or your overwatch triggers on other enemy things. And like, dude, he'll just go. And that'll be awesome. I guess, I guess the snipers are cool. The specialist, ah, you saw David go with them overwatches. They got destroyed, dude. 62 kills. He His kills just skyrocketed. Rescued 17 civilians. We got an Illyrium core, which is awesome. He's insane. You have done an job 
Nice. That is going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for next time on XCOM. Stay mythical.